This is Donald V2, and welcome back. This is the second take of the um, Death Star scene. And no, I will not be using save states at any point during this thing. Unless this ends up taking like 20 takes. Then I just won't post like 5 of like 10 of them. Anyway. Last time was supposed to be more epic. This one will be. This video will be more explanative. Um. Well, the mission here is, as I tried to say, the controls are really annoying. I don't even understand them really. You, you can't really turn all the way around. This ain't like you got full flight over this thing. Even though I think there's enough radio, there's the probably enough location on this thing for that with the eight with the way you angle in this area for some reason I think you should be able like to fully turn around but that's just beside the point I want to drive straight so I can destroy any tower that might be in my way so I'm gonna get out of here and get to the next section on, one more tower one more tower one more tower yes now the fun part with all my lives by fun part, I mean I hate this level. Really hate this level. This level brings back bad memories. Even when I played this game when I was a child on easy, this gate level still gives me bad memories. And now that I'm playing it on a higher difficulty and realizing that that's probably why this game is a lot harder than when it was when I was a kid. I always played on that easy mode. Mostly probably because the other modes are way too cheap. Like I've shown you. But yeah. Anyway, moving on. All right. Three three thousand points left. Oh I wanna die. I know I am. There you are. Dang it. I cannot. Dang. I can't get any leverage on him at all. I forget if I'm actually supposed to destroy him before the timer runs out or what I'm supposed to deal with that is. I think I'm supposed to actually destroy him. Why the Millennial Falcon doesn't do it, I don't know. But. I guess this is like supposed to be this game's final boss. But, but you know what's sad? It's even if you defeat him, the game's not over. I know this from personal experience way before doing this playthrough. I used to rent this game all the time. And not because I had trouble with the first, what was it, eight stages of the game? I could have eight, well, no, I guess it was like 12 or 10 or something. I'll go with 12. 12 seems like a good number. Um, not well, because I had trouble with any of those stages. Now, especially not on easy. No, I used to really got past those stages without much problems. Much, I say. Because I still had some problems with. Speak goodness. Ah! Spamming for the win! <laughs> yes! I don't have to play this. Alright. I don't have to do this level anymore. Yes, it only took me two tries. That was one in a million. Or spamming like ten shots at once. Oh my gosh. That it? Okay. It's like, is that it? Now 
And now the ending. That's kind of cool. That's kind of a cool little effect. They're actually walking. Congratulations, you have destroyed the Death Star and won another vi victory against the evil Galactic Empire. The Imperial forces have retreated and you have brought freedom to this part of the galaxy. But be careful for the Empire might strike back. And remember the force will always be with you. The Empire might strike back. Wow, that's not foreshadowing at all, is it? Wow, that... Wow. Um. Okay. There's credits. <coughs> okay. Well, I guess like I usually do with my playthroughs, I usually give a quick review of my bad points, good points of these games. Good points. It does a really good job of replicating the storyline, I think. Of, although adding uh, enemies and taking away certain scenes. Although, if you don't have that, you really couldn't really make a game. It'd just be, uh, might as well just watch the movie then. Because you really wouldn't have a game if you didn't add a few enemies and stuff like that. Especially if it's historically correct. Unlike adding enemies to Jason, but, uh, adding enemies to a Jason Voorhees thing, but, that's beside the point. The point is that, that even though this game kind of deviated from the storyline a little bit, it did it in a way that kind of made sense. Bad parts, and this is from playing it on normal mode. Bad points is everything is freaking cheap and tries to kill you extremely cheaply. Now, there's a difference between having a difficult time and cheap kills. Everything in this game tries to kill you cheaply. As I've shown you. Freaking anything that gets close to you is trying to kill you. That's why the lightsaber is practically ineffective. Against most things and psh, shut up try again thing. What am I going to get? Nothing except congratulations. Freaking A. I'm pretty sure I can predict the ending right now. And if someone wants to prove me wrong, or or, or the uh, thing, the reward I get for beating it in Jedi mode, which I've never done and never going to do on any of these runs, because I do not play games on hard. I just play them on normal, just to beat them. But that's another story for another day. But. If anyone wants to prove me wrong, this is my guess of what that uh, thing is. It's going to swing, it's going to do the same thing all the way through till this point where it says try again. It's going to be like, congratulations, you beat the game in Jedi mode. Or something very similar to that. I could be wrong, but that's my guess. I might look that up on YouTube later. Anyway. Um, yeah. Other than, I mean, like, even the last couple, the last couple of stages were really bad with the cheap things, where you had the odd view and you really couldn't control your ship at all, or you really didn't know what was going on. I mean, it kind of threw you into the last bit without even know, letting you know what's going on, which really hurts when you're playing through this game. Like, if, as a kid, I remember I had to play through this game, like, 20, 30, 40 times in order to beat it. Most of the time it was because of me having problems with either the Death Star or I remember having problems with the bar scene, kind of. It was just levels. I, I think I always wanted to have a place with the lightsaber. So because of that, I always got killed. Of course, I was playing easy mode, which the lightsaber probably worked there. Except in the bar fight. As one thing of note if you if you do plan to play through this game the bar fight is going to be with the lightsaber the bar fight is going to be very hard I remember that as a kid I had trouble with that I had to pull out Chewbacca in order to beat that level and of course I didn't really care about any of the other characters other than Luke Skywalker anyway only because he had a sword and the other people had blasters and swords and lightsabers are cool 
especially when you're a kid and that's just a really cool sword but anyway my score I guess I'd give this game is probably a six mostly because oh yeah another negative thing is the fact it has no passwords which this one's kind of short but still this game is ridiculously difficult especially without passwords especially having to start from the beginning of the game every time you get game over but yeah I give this game about a 6 out of 10 mostly because of the cheap hits and the no password thing which is fixed in the next ones well this is Donald V2 signing off and I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it please subscribe have a good day